Welcome to this tutorial for two-plane balancing using soft bearing suspensions. Let's start a new balance. We select the parameters for the type of rotor we want to balance. No filter if we don't know the rotation speed. Record time between 3 and 6 seconds are convenient for rotors turning above 600 rpm. Finally, we select soft bearing suspensions mode. On the balancing wizard tab, we choose the diagram looking the most to our rotor and we input the dimensions requested on it. We input the rotor's mass, we select two planes and we choose left rotation counterclockwise or right rotation clockwise, seen from plane 1. We set the desired quality grade for this balancing and the nominal working speed of this rotor. We choose if we are going to add or remove mass. The mass of the suspensions depends on the model. Please check the manual. In case you need to recover this configuration later, choose a name and save it. Start up the balancing machine and increase the speed until you reach the desired balancing speed. We can use a tachometer to check it. We record the signal from plane 1 and once the recording is finished, the signal will appear on the central window. We press the switch button on the interface to select plane 2 and we also select plane 2 on the Digivibon X by clicking on the right polar graph for plane 2 on the left column and we start the recording. Immediately after the two signals are recorded, we will see the correction masses and angles for both planes on the left column. We weight the correction masses using a precision scale and we place them at the angle indicated by the digibyte. Seeing the rotor from plane 1, the zero points always horizontally to the right. From this mark, we measure the angles counterclockwise. For plane 2, we use the same method. We place the reflecting tape on the horizontal position to the right, seen from plane 1, and measure counterclockwise. We start up the machine again and we measure vibration from both planes. Repeat this process until you get the desired quality grade. The yellow dot on plane 1 indicates that the vibration is close to the desired quality grade, but it's not good yet. On plane 2, the green dot indicates that the quality grade has been achieved and it's better than the one we specified. Let's place the new counterweights to improve the balancing. These weights are smaller because they are for fine-tuning. In this example we put plasticine. We start up the machine again and measure vibration on both planes.
both indicators are green, which means that we have reached the required quality grade. Now you can generate your balancing report going to Tools menu. This is the end of this balancing tutorial. We hope it has been very useful to you. For further information or assistance, please visit us at airbest-instruments.com.